Good morning, everyone. It's Monday, January the 1st, 2018. New Year's Day. Happy New Year to all my subscribers around the globe. Thank you for, for subscribing to my channel. And thank you for um, listening to the devotionals for the past year. I appreciate all of you. Love you very much. Um, <clears throat> I watched the uh, the ball come down last night, and uh, always amazed at what people will put themselves through to be a part of a celebration. It was wickedly cold. I mean, this morning when I went out to get my coffee, it was 11 degrees and those people were standing out there for hours, hours and hours and hours bundled up. And, uh, you know, it's just it always amazed me. I have a hard time standing online to get into a theater. You know, uh, if, if the line is too long, I can't stand there. My back starts to hurt standing in one spot for long periods of time. I, I could never, I don't have the constitution to uh, endure that kind of stress to be a part of a party. And um, some of the um, entertainment was just borderline porn. Um, I mean, uh, Britney Spears was rolling all over the, uh, the stage and uh, it just, you know, when you, you see the state of the world and what the desires of the average person's heart is, it's saddening, you know, it's saddening. I watched a movie last night. A friend um, gave me a gift, a very beautiful uh, gift. And thank you, Thomas, for your gift. He gave me a three-month subscription to Pure Flix. And uh, last night, on his recommendation, I watched I Am Gabriel. And um, I don't want to ruin it for you by telling you this, but it was just a, such an uplifting movie. Um, I wanted to get on my knees at the end of that movie. <laughs> um, what a difference and a contrast in the programming. People, you have to make an effort to guard what you see and what you watch. Because there is a definite effect that happens inside of people based on what they ingest, what their eyes see, what their mind interprets, what their flesh would start to crawl. And I saw the extreme difference between these two things because I had just finished watching that movie and turned on to, the, uh, to watch the ball go down and what I was seeing on the TV and what I had just gotten done watching in that movie was pulls apart. You have to make an effort, people, uh, to push yourselves away from what this world gives everybody, the steady diet of uh, Satanism, okay? You may not view it that way because you're used to it, but you need, if you have been on the other side, you would be able to see the contrast. Uh, I have a devotional for you today. Uh, but first, I would like to start off, as I usually do, saying the Our Father and uh, starting a brand new year. Uh, you know, our Lord is the, is the Lord of new beginnings. Every minute of every day is like New Year. You can start over at any time. And the Lord will forgive you of whatever sin you've committed and whatever 
way of life you've been uh, out of the will of the father he will um, he will embrace you in a heartbeat and he will change your life and turn it around um, let's say the our father please join me our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen okay this is called beginning what an appropriate title for january 1st 2018 beginning and the reading is from proverbs 1 verse 7 and it says the fear of the lord the reverent fear of the lord that is worshiping him and regarding him as truly awesome is the beginning and the preeminent part of knowledge its starting point and its essence today is the start of a new year and along with it comes fresh hopes and opportunities a whole set of possibilities and uncertainties stand before you the prospect of these new beginnings fills us with great awe which is why many people make such an effort to comm commemorate this day making resolutions and celebrating their arrival. The promise of a new beginning stirs hope in our souls. But from every, but from the very first verse in scripture, in Genesis 1-1, we see that the most powerful beginnings come from God. And the very best, most fulfilling and fruitful commencements do not just include the Father, but are initiated and guided by Him. <clears throat> so as you start this year, the most important principle for you to embrace is that God formed you for a purpose and has been shaping you for the days and the months ahead. He has a plan for you that is good, acceptable, and wise. And he promises to lead you well. Your responsibility is to always acknowledge him as the living God, your Lord and the sovereign architect and ruler of all creation. If you wish to make this your very best year yet, allow God to begin it every day of it and trust him to show you what he wants to accomplish in and through you. Look for him to initiate the opportunities, healings, spiritual growth, and new areas of fruitfulness. For to do so, friends, is the very heart of wisdom. And a prayer we can say is, Father, thank you for this new year and all the hope it brings. Lead me, Lord, I revere you as my Savior and wise King and know that the best beginnings are from you. Amen. How beautiful uh, that our Lord is, is, is the Lord of new beginnings. And um, when we realize that we don't have to wait for January 1st to roll around to start fresh and new again. Remember, you can only serve two two it's either one or the other you're going to serve god or you're going to serve satan that's it and if you're not born again and you're not in the body part of the body of christ you're serving satan that's it you may not view it that way but in reality spiritual reality that is it it's you cannot serve two masters. And if I were you, uh, I would want to be on the winning side because in the Bible, it says we win in the end. 
um, you know, the only, you, knowing that and still continuing with this world the way it is, and your allegiance towards the world, you're signing your death certificate, your eternal death certificate. Um, so if you haven't come to the Lord, today is a beautiful new year, a new day, a new beginning. I'm going to put the salvation prayer right up behind this. Follow along. Just come with a sorrowful heart and just be humble and follow along. And uh, it would be the best uh, turning of the new leaf you can make. Don't forget, I love you. Jesus loves you. Never forget how much Jesus loves you. And I don't care how long it takes. He's, I know in my heart that he's coming. And I know that he's coming soon. And the test for everyone is in the wait. That's a true test of our faith. How long we can wait for our Heavenly Father to come and fulfill his promise. God bless you. Happy New Year. <laughs>